Whenever we say the term pollution, the first image which comes to our mind is the smoggy cities, gas-fueled cars, industries, littered around oceans, isn't it? But it is not only the air and the water is getting polluted. Land is also equally being affected and impacted by pollution. Okay, There is not even a single surface left on the earth which has not been polluted, which has not been impacted or influenced by the pollution. So students, the topic which I am going to discuss today is the causes, effects and the solutions also, preventive measures also through which we can protect the land getting polluted. So first we should know what is land pollution. Now land pollution refers to the deterioration of the earth's land surface at and below the ground level also. So the cause is the accumulation of the solid and the liquid waste materials that contaminate the land as well as the ground water also. So this waste materials are also often referred as the municipal solid waste MSW which includes both hazardous and the non-hazardous waste. In a very simple term students we can put land pollution as means the degradation or the destruction of the earth's surface and soil directly or indirectly as a result of the human activities. So ultimately okay, we are the main source of the degradation or the destruction of the earth's surface or the soil. So students here few causes of the land pollutions I have listed out. Now let us observe each of those causes individually we have first is the deforestation now why deforestation is carried out in order to create dry lands now land which is you know converted into the dry or the barren land it can never be made fertile again it cannot be again redeemed okay now land conversion meaning the alternation or the modification of the original properties of the land to make it use worthy for specific purposes. For example, we clear off the land in order to conduct the agricultural activities or mining activities on that land. But in return or in turns, what happens is it will hamper the land immensely. Okay, it will enhance or it will encourage more amount of soil erosion in that particular place. Next is the agricultural activities. Now with the growing human population, now demand for the food has increased considerably. Farmers often use high toxic fertilizers and pesticides to get rid of the insects, fungi and bacteria from their crops. However, the overuse of those chemicals, they result in the contamination and the poisoning of the soil. Not even that, the improper farming techniques Agricultural techniques like slash and burn techniques is also one of the major concern or the major cause for the contamination and the poisoning of the soil. Next is constructional activities. Now due to urbanization, a large number of construction activities are taking place which has resulted in a huge waste articles like wood, metal, bricks, plastics that can be seen everywhere by our naked eyes right under our nose in any uh, in constructional infrastructures okay which ultimately leads to the land pollution mining activities now due to, during the extractions and the mining activities several land spaces are created beneath the surface depressions are dug out isn't it? So we constantly hear about the land caving in or subsiding which is nothing but the nature's way of feeling that spaces left out after mining or the extraction activity. Overcrowded landfills. Now each household produces tons of garbage each year. Now garbage like aluminium, plastic, paper, cloth, hood is collected and sent to the local recycling units. But items which cannot be recycled became a part of that landfills and which will hamper the beauty of the city and it will lead to the land pollution. Next is industrialization. So due to an increase in the demand for food, shelter and house, more goods are produced, more industries are established. So this result in the creation of more waste that needs to be disposed of. So to meet the demand of the growing population, 
more industries are developed which led to the deforestation research and development will pave the way for the modern fertilizers and chemicals that are way very highly toxic and it can lead to the soil erosion as well as it can lead to the soil pollution also nuclear waste which is produced uh, from in a huge amount through the you know the uh, nuclear fissions and the uh, fusions when the nuclear energy is created so the leftover radioactive material which still is harmful and uh, toxic chemicals okay which can affect the human health which can bring some genetic changes on the human okay they are disposed in the land though they are dumped beneath the earth to avoid the heavy casualty but still the land is getting pollution or the soil is getting polluted littering is the most common problem no matter it is a city or a rural area it exists everywhere people just simply throw their garbage on the ground without caring about the adverse effect on the environment so until and unless we don't create or we don't inculcate the environmental awareness in the mind of the common people we cannot make any differences so if there is a cause there will be effect also so soil pollution is the one of the major effect of the land pollution where the upper layers of the soil or the top soil compositions is literally damaged and it is changed or it is altered now this is mainly caused by the overuse of chemical fertilizers now soil erosion will trigger the land pollution more and other pest control measures also leading to the loss of fertile land which can be used for the agriculture okay uh, it will also damage the forest cover understood fooder and also the patches for the grazing will also be impacted and the major concern is a student we cannot quickly regain or redeem the lost soil the regeneration process at least take minimum 500 years okay for the 1 cm of top soil so our top priority is to control the uh, causes of the soil pollution groundwater poisoning so when harmful substances from the industrial process chemicals are improperly disposed on the land or any illegal landfills or storage or any improper uh, agricultural techniques also okay so those, those chemicals can end up in the groundwater system also now this process is called leaching so it can happen on the farms industrial sites sites and landfills and affect the health of animals plants as well as humans too drinking water problem drinking water is highly affected by the land pollution now as the underground water system is also getting polluted due to the soil pollution or to the land pollution so definitely we are going to have a scarcity of drinking water nearly 50% of the world population does not have access to the safe drinking water and according to the who report okay if every year water based diseases cause up to 10 million deaths change in the climatic patterns now the effects of the land pollutions are very hazardous and it can lead to the loss of ecosystem now when the whole ecosystem is disturbed and disrupted by the land pollution because of the polluted land so it will have a negative impact on the environment it directly or indirectly can affect the change in the climatic patterns also effect on human health now the land when contaminated with toxic chemicals and pesticides will lead to the potentially fatal problems like skin cancers and human respiratory problems globally 9500 people are diagnosed with skin cancer every day so the toxic chemicals can reach our body through the foods and vegetables that we eat as they are grown in the polluted soil now when we eat those kinds of polluted vegetables and foods okay it is also going to have a negative impact on the children's growth also now due to the land pollution the government may also have to incur a huge loss because it will distract the tourist from visiting that place because the city will lose its you know the place will lose its attraction and charm 
as the tourist does not visit that place in order to see the landfills so when they move around if they see the landfills or the litters every uh, way around then definitely they are not going to visit that place again that place that tourist destination will lots its reputation also if there is a problem there is a solution too land pollution has also its solutions amazing solutions i must say so i have listed few solutions here let's go through it make people aware of the concept of reduce recycle and reuse reusing materials will help to reduce the requirement for harvesting resources the products that cannot be reused can be recycled reduce the use of pesticides and fertilizers in the agricultural activities reduce the use of non biodegradable materials by simply switching to a reusable cloth bag for groceries instead of a plastic shopping bags avoid buying packaged items as they will lead to create garbage and ultimately it will end up in the landfill site ensure that you do not litter on the ground and do proper disposal of garbage using different dustbins for different waste products we need to buy biodegradable products do organic gardening and eat organic food that will be grown without the use of pesticides or insecticides we have to avoid littering and uh, properly dispose of wastage should be maintained and followed which is essential measures against the land pollution for both households as well as for the industries also the only way and the key to mitigate the land pollution and all other pollution is education the awareness among the people among the masses we have to show people the adverse effect of land pollution and the way to mitigate them convincing others can motivate every one of us to make a significant contribution to save our environment ultimately earth is only the planet where we can survive in the whole universe earth is our home so we must save our home thank you for watching